Hi, my name is Nikki McLeod, and this is my first Dreamweaver tutorial. I am the owner of Keen Perspectives, and what we're going to do is start with something very basic. So, if you want to open Dreamweaver, today we are just going to discuss defining your site. And the first thing you're going to want to do before you actually define a site is make sure that you create at least two folders. Um, the first one, you just want to name it the name of your website, and we'll just name this one website. And then inside of that folder, create another folder that simply says images. When you define your site, you're going to define both of these folders, and it's going to help you keep your files organized. So go ahead and open Dreamweaver, and then under Site, just go to New Sites. And then what you're going to do is you have a basic and advanced. We're going to work in the advanced tab. Go ahead and name your site and then you want to open the local root folder and then you want to come down find that folder you created and choose it and then in your default images folder you want to click on that images folder choose it and now the images are stored in one folder, folder and your HTML files will be stored in the local root folder. Your HTTP address, you can go ahead and type that in as it is. We'll just use website.com as an example. Um, this is your domain name and if you don't have a domain name, I would highly recommend you register it as they, they do go fast and you want to make sure that you have the one that you desire and if you need to search those you can do so on my site at kperspectives.com and do a free domain search. Um, then you want to go to your remote information, click FTP and here's where you'll get your hosting information from your hosting company. Um, you'll have an FTP address and then your login and password and then you just simply click OK we're not going to do that now because there is none. You simply click OK and that's all there is to it. Your site is then set up and you're ready to start building your web pages. You'll notice over here on your files panel that your website has shown up and any files that are in it will, will be stored there also. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube page and you will receive more tutorials on actually building a website from Photoshop into Dreamweaver using CSS and more. Thank you for joining me.